Well, Gina, he is so excited to be home and so thankful for all the support that he's had from the, from the community, so grateful for all the doctors and nurses. We first talked to him about a week and a half ago. He had been in the hospital at that time. Uh, in, he's intubated for multiple weeks, and then he went into rehab, and now he's been released. It's been a journey. After 51 days in the hospital, Phil Eaton is ringing the bell. What a great day, it really is. I'm excited. It means he's not only going home, but he's well on his way to recovery. Right as he was headed out the door, a surprise. A parade of cars to cheer him on. The support from the people in the school district and the school that I serve at, uh, that was pretty emotional. The high school principal went to the hospital after he had pneumonia. Things got worse quickly. He was on a ventilator for 20 days. So I'm going to start you off. It's going to go real slow. After that, the next step in his journey, rehab. His muscles and his legs and arms needed to gain strength. He's working with our physical and occupational therapists. They're working on getting him more independent with his mobility. Uh, that's improved significantly to where he could barely tolerate sitting for a long period of time or standing uh, to now he's walking. As Eden leaves today, he credits all the doctors and nurses with his recovery. Uh, I'll forever be grateful to you guys. That's what we, what we come to work for every day. Help out well, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming down to means a lot. I, I had to be here. There's no way I would miss it. Now he's headed home, the next phase of his journey.